Okay, here's a question about columns. And this is sort of a, a general question. This is this one is just saying, all right, the current design uh, development, uh, the current DD set, the current design development design calls for a 10 foot tall W10 by 33 column in a building that you are working on. Uh, and the question is, what are the most important elements for understanding what the maximum allowable load would be for that? So imagine you sort of have an assumption, you put it into place, and now you're trying to like, well, okay, what things do, what are the, what are the issues that would be at play here? So uh, we've started with a couple little uh, sketch images there mm -hmm. to help us along. Uh, what, uh, what would you say the, the basic worries here would be? Well, the first thing you want to think about is what is the contribution to figuring out the capacity of a column. And so you are really thinking about is it tall and slender? Is it short and squatty? And you may have heard this little equation here, KL over R. And so the different parts of this actually are what are the most important pieces to be thinking about. K goes up here to these diagrams, it basically is having you think about what are my end conditions. This first one shows a pin pin. The second one is a flagpole kind of condition, so it has a fixed base. And then the third one shows you two fixed ends. Um, and, and, and so because that the two fixed ends, it means that they're as they come out of the fix, fixity, they're coming out at 90 degrees, Correct. unlike the pin, which can, can rotate around. Mm -hmm. And yep. uh, so you get a very yeah. different uh, curving happening. Right. So the value g changes as you go through these. I happen to know that this pin pin is a 1.0, and I believe That's the cantilever a, is a 2.0. Yeah. This one I have no idea off the top it's, of my head. Yeah, we'd have to look it up. But you can see how they change, and so depending on what fixity you have. And if we look at our little uh, our little diagram, what fixity do you think we have? Yeah, that's that looks like a pin pin. Too. Yeah, those are that's sketched as a pin. It's not the best sketch ever. Sorry about that, but that's uh, that's meant to be a pin pin uh, connection. So that's definitely the K is mm -hmm. one point oh on that. Yep. So then the other, uh, the next piece is L, and that's your height over here. So that certainly is going to contribute. So if you're shorter or taller, that makes your number here bigger. And basically to have a good capacity for a column, the lower the scale over R value is the more capacity you'll have in your column. Right. So like one of the ways to, to think about this, that one of the big advantages of thinking of the KL over R is um, the, the big question on a column when you're doing calculations on a column, there's a couple different ways that a column can fail. Uh, one of the ways a column can fail is through buckling. And one of the ways a column can fail is just that the material fails, like, mm -hmm. you know, steel or concrete or whatever it is, just it has so much load on it that it just fails. And so, uh, but then which ones are which and which, which times do you need to use the formulas for buckling and which times do you need to use the formulas for, for uh, the, the capacity of the material, the robustness of the, of the material itself. And so if you start thinking about it, if you just sort of exaggerate it in your head, if instead of that being a 10 foot column, if you said, all right, what if that's a 100 foot tall column? Well, if that's a 100 foot tall column and we're putting any load on it, are you ever going to put a load on it in such a way that you're going to crush the steel? Probably not. It's You're going to buckle that right. column way before mm -hmm. you're going to crush anything. All right. Well, on the converse side, let's say instead of being 10 foot tall, it was one foot tall and we put a whole big load on it. Really, you're going to buckle a one foot tall steel column like it, it's it, you're never going to buckle that. But it might, if you put enough load on it, crush the steel or, you know, rip through it. Rip yeah. through it. Um, so clearly there are a bunch of uh, situations where you are going to focus on the uh, the material issues. And there's a bunch of situations where you're going to focus on the buckling issues. And then there's some in the middle where you probably have to do calculations right. for both mm -hmm. because that's, you know, it could be either it's not clearly one or the other. So it's kind of a triage system. You're kind of breaking it into the triage. And that's one of the things that the whole KL over R starts to help you sort of think through is get it kind of getting you to the spot where you're deciding which of those formulas. Mm -hmm. So that means that what we're trying to figure out here is, well, we need to know, uh, like how tall it is, what mm -hmm. kind of uh, connections there are, in this case, the pin connections. And therefore, that's going to lead us to uh, how that KL over R is going to work. And then uh, the other thing we uh, would want to know would be more about the W10 by 33. But uh, we can look that information up. And in this case, that's the R, that radius of Right. Yeah. So if you go to a bigger W10, the R value is going to go up. So that'll help bring the KL over R value down and give you more capacity, like we were saying. Right. So the big issues, the uh, height, uh, the the 
connections, in this case, the pin connections, and then the sort of, uh, um, I don't know how to say it other than robustness of the shape, yeah. the, the kind of what that are, what that's telling us. Mm -hmm. um, let's take a quick look and just see what. Uh, what are pullers from home, how they did? Yeah, so, okay. Let's see. So he's saying tributary area and radius of gyration. So tributary area is not a bad thing. What that's saying is uh, that the the area that is going to contribute load to that that column would be a significant thing I'd want to really think about. So mm -hmm. that's kind of getting into the loading of the area right. and how right. much versus load per square foot itself. we probably have mm -hmm. versus the shape itself. So I think that's a reasonable um, answer as well. Uh, and then obviously radius of gyration we just we just mentioned. Yep. Um, I, I would also include though that I think that the pin connection is really key. Um, and then obviously we, we've given it as the length, uh, the 10 foot, but I think it's worth mentioning it as well.